knocks off Thomas Moore here tonight. Final score, 85-76. Says uh, you may see some camera shots here of uh, senior night for the Tigers. Kevin Kanye currently being uh, honored here as uh, the Tigers going uh, doing their senior night. Coach, you'll do yours a little later on. I know you like to get this game out of the way yeah. uh, to some to some degree. Get that. Uh, on the back burner, keep some of the emotions out of it. And uh, your Lady Tigers got a big win here tonight. Girls tend to get a little more emotional, and their coaches do too. Uh, <laughs> Meredith posted something today, and then Ken and the, they, they posted something on Facebook. And, you know, I'm just thinking, man, just get it, get it over. With. Our, our television show was the first time that it really hit me when you, when you mentioned that it was time for the two seniors to have their last home game. And, uh, but, yeah, it, it, and we'll do it halftime of the guys' game. We're relaxed now. The parents can contact. We have a – they they go upstairs and eat and just spend some time together, which is nice. Well, let's let's talk about those seniors, coach. One of them uh, a monster performance, another one a really good performance. Pressed into maybe some extra minutes with the with the injury to Shyla, but mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with Madison Faulkner, 10 of 19 from the floor, 8 of 10 at the line, 28 points, seven rebounds. She tried to catch you tonight. She needed 33 to tie you on that all time I wish she would. List. I wish she would. She My nerves really wouldn't good. be as shot right now if, if she had it, but uh, and the. Uh, I thought the biggest basket of the night was the left-handed shot that she we we'd gone through and and just uh, was that really a shot? She kind of threw one it, up. She'll tell when, you it was when right? you're as good she's as her, they was. go like that. Yeah, she's just uh, she's playing great right now, and uh, man, she hit some tough shots when when we just weren't getting much going. She hit some tough shots, and that's what uh, that's what winners do is they win, and that's what she did. But man, Thomas Moore is so good. They are such a such a good, well-coached team, and. Uh, they shoot it well, but I thought we did a pretty good job running them off the three-point line tonight. Uh, but they still got their points. It's just still a very talented group of kids. Kate finishes uh, with 10 points, mm -hmm. six rebounds, seven assists in the game. She passes Roseanne Conlon and Leanne Greider, now third all-time. Uh, Shannon Wathen in her sights. Uh, Shannon <laughs> sitting at 600. Uh, that's an easy one for me to remember. But uh, Kate still a little ways to go to get there. And, uh, she continues to, to do impressive things here in her senior season. Yeah, and, you know, that's two, just two great kids. And she was kind of thrown into the fire tonight. Shyla obviously injured her shoulder and uh, uh, wasn't able to come back into the game. And uh, Shia, you go back and you watch her game at Thomas Moore, Shyla was really, really good because they trap and they do other things. And she's so quick she can get underneath a lot of that. And uh, so Kate had to uh, 37 minutes. That's that's the first for a, for her in a while. It's in a long time to play that many minutes. But uh, you know we found a way, and um, that's all that matters in these games. Is you find a way. I don't care if they're pretty. I don't care if they're ugly. If you find a way to beat a team that talented, then you've got to walk away and be happy about it. Uh, you mentioned Shyla's injury. We'll stop there now. Uh, kind of. Uh, on that far side, I missed exactly what happened, but the uh, uh -huh. shoulder may have popped out She just out said there. she ran into uh, she ran into her, and uh, I want to say it was her freshman year. We had some trouble with that shoulder. Uh, the only time she's had trouble since then was Jordan Dorham. She ran into Jordan. That'll and, do it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that would pop a lot of shoulders. <laughs> but I don't know. You know, sometimes when you have stuff like that, it's just the way your arm is and the way they hit you. It wasn't anything intentional. She just ran into her and. Uh, so, uh, but I'm going to tell you, that kid is tough. She's playing right now with torn meniscus. She's actually getting a shot tomorrow, a cortisone shot. And we had already planned for her to sit this following week. So I, I feel like uh, we get some rehab, which Josh does an abs a wonderful job. We get some rehab and get her back. I feel certain she's going to tough it out and play for us. Savannah Gregory had a double-double coach, 18 points, 10 rebounds. It seemed like she had uh, a lot more than 10. Mm -hmm. But uh, the deflections, the steals, on and on, everything that uh, – she continued everything she does well she did tonight i thought maybe one of the the most uh, impressive sequences of the game she had the block shot grabbed it came down scored came back down by the time i got to midcourt she had another deflection yeah uh she's got to be super frustrating to prepare for is uh, you know that oh, motor yeah. doesn't stop and i I'd, uh, I'd just gotten on to her and lexi the the timeout before for not covering that and she she not only covered it she blocked the shot and got down and uh, you know, those kids accept the challenge. Uh, you know, it, it, this is a time of year where you have to be good in situations like this. You have to make plays, and, and today we made plays. They did too. They made plays even to get themselves back into the game. We pulled away a little bit. Then we got stagnant. And uh, uh, But, you know, and then when Courtney fouled out, uh, you know, that's, that's big shoes to fill when she fouls out of a game because uh, you look and she had five points. She was still so important because she – they double everything in the post. She's a release for Faulkner. She's a release for Kate. And she, the first half, the first half was, you know, I feel certain out of those doubles was the one finding Lexi when we when we got those threes. But um, 
I'm just I'm proud of the kids. You know, you can look at a stat sheet, you can do anything, but I'm just proud of the way they battled today. You know, Courtney, as we move along, the more I get to see her, she's like that Swiss Army knife. She does whatever you need her to do on a given Absolutely. night. If that score, she'll score. Yep. If it's pass out of the post, she'll pass out of yep. the I mean, it, whatever it is, that's uh, it's kind of that role that, that she has embraced. And, you know, uh, it may evolve over the next few years, but this year she plays it to a T. And, uh, you know, Coach Lexi Lake uh, hitting some threes here tonight. She's now hit uh, 87. Uh, here in her sophomore season this uh, this year, and she and Faith, did they have a surprise tonight uh, with the? I don't know if I can hat? make that public or not, oh, but I will say gone, I did it. It's is my fault, public? Nikki. It's I my fault, I think they Nikki. knew the tiger. Yes, yeah. I think, uh, and I think the tiger did an outstanding job. So I, I, yeah. I was watching. It was actually apparently Nikki <laughs> has had a lifelong <laughs> dream. She loves mascots, she, and then she, she watches mascots. So. Uh, uh, she texts, and I'm not sure who to put her in contact with, but obviously you know Campbell's University is going to gonna honor something like this. And uh, so she lived out her lifelong dream. But you know what? Now we got the win. We may make her keep doing she, it. Well, she and, may and, have got herself into something. Hit four. You guys hit, what, eight in the first half? Yeah. Uh, so maybe – Maybe you're on to something, uh, Nikki. Uh, and I had a couple of breakfasts in uh, Billings last year. She probably won't talk to me this year uh, when we get to Billings. But well, uh, I think the kids, the girls, are probably on to it because, and we've talked to, to Faith. Like it had been mentioned, but they didn't have any idea that it was tonight. But they said, when uh, we look up and Mom's not sitting next to Dad, we're going we're to know. know. But uh, so it was, yeah, it was a great, it was a great thing. And that's what it should be. It should be fun. Yeah. You know, live life. Uh, I watched her a few times. She was throwing the hands, uh, having fun with it. So uh, <laughs> that was good to see. And, uh, Coach, you get a uh, short turnaround. Uh, George, yep. two games left, both on the road here as you guys try to uh, wrap up a conference regular season championship. Mm -hmm. It's always great to control your own destiny, but a uh, tough rivalry matchup with, oh, uh, with a very sure. talented uh, Coach from Jackson's club. Very, very talented. talented. You know, they've, they've gone, kind of been roller coaster, but uh, it's a Georgetown Saturday. I don't expect anything but their best. And uh, we, we absolutely have to go up and we have to guard and we have to be uh, be super aggressive offensively. You know, we've, we've uh, Hootie had this scout today, so she'll tell you that was credit for her win. But uh, I've been watching Georgetown all week and just trying to figure them out. And then obviously we'll go and see what uh, what they did against Lindsey Wilson tonight. We're, we're so different, though, it's hard to scout because we guard people differently. Uh, we have that zone. and. Uh, you know, we, we can go watch him play Lindsay tonight, but I'm, I'd say John played man all night. And uh, But we can still get some tendencies and still get some things. Who's playing well, who's shooting it well, and go from there. But I can promise you they will be ready for us, and uh, they will give us their best on Saturday. Coach, congratulations on this one, and uh, enjoy uh, senior day here in, uh, at halftime of the men's game. I appreciate it. Thanks for all my folks and everybody back home listening. David, Nancy, Greg, my, a lot of my family didn't make come up today, but I'm glad they're listening. Coach, uh, congratulations. We'll see you Saturday. Thanks. Appreciate it, Matt. Coach uh, Ginger High Colvin and the Lady Tigers pick up the win as they uh, knock off Thomas Moore here. Final score 85 to 76.